Hi everyone and welcome to another Kickstarter unboxing and today we're looking at Eternal Palace from our friends at Alicat Games. Eternal Palace is for ages 14 and up, 1 to 5 players and takes 60 to 90 minutes to play. And it's a game by Stephen Aramini. So let's have a look at the back. Eternal Palace is a highly interactive dice placement Euro game for 1 to 5 players. Players are assigned workers represented by dice to locations based on their combined value. You'll visit locations to gain resources, rebuild monuments and gather painting pieces for your masterpiece. Lots of lovely components as you can see here. Uh, secretly group dice, gain the Emperor's favour, recruit advisors, gather resources, rebuild monuments and race for bonuses. And collect and layer painted pieces. So this all looks very nice indeed. Great production quality as expected from Alicat Games. So without further ado, let's remind ourselves what the Kickstarter was all about, and then we will take a look inside the box. Long ago, in a quest to be remembered through the ages, an emperor sought to rebuild an ancient and glorious palace which had fallen into disrepair. This is the story of the Eternal Palace. As the leader of a noble house, you seek to gain favor with the Emperor by aiding in the rebuilding of his palace and to immortalize the Emperor's efforts by creating a painting to commemorate the occasion. However, you are not the only one looking to impress the Emperor. News of the Eternal Palace has spread, and the Emperor's fondness of paintings is well known. Will your efforts see you gain the favor you desire, or will another noble house be honored instead? Eternal Palace is a dice placement Euro game for one to five players. Designed by Stephen Aramini and brought to you by Alley Cat Games. You'll roll the dice which represent your workers and secretly organize them into groups to visit different locations. As you gain more dice, powerful locations closer to the palace become easier to reach. Will you focus on constructing a feature or take the credit for rebuilding a local monument? Every location you visit will take you one step closer to painting your masterpiece and the ultimate prize of being honored by the Emperor. Okay, here we go. One thing I forgot to mention earlier is that this is the deluxe edition that I backed on Kickstarter. So uh, there you go, as it says here, deluxe components, monuments are miniatures in the deluxe game. Excellent. So we have our rule book. First thing you see is a lovely list of contents. Uh, details of the expansion modules, uh, some included in all editions, some included in the deluxe edition and some as part of the Kickstarter pack. Then we have a nice uh, guided setup and then what the game is all about and how you play it. So, excellent. Looks like everything's in there. Here the end game works, reference for all the advisors, then reference for the expansion modules and details on the solo mode. Cool. So that's that, we'll put those there for now. So, uh, well, actually I'll need that because we've got the list of things. So what have we got here? We've got one dice screen. Yep, that's that. We've got lots and lots of punchables. So, let's take all these out. It's very rare that you get all of the uh, cardboard punch outs in uh, in a plastic bag like that that's uh, I guess that's for ease of packing of course also to make sure that if any of them fall out you don't lose them I suppose right so we have uh, what do we have good question Matthew I'm guessing those are for the canvas stand. Uh, no, that's the canvas stand. So I'm not quite sure what those are for, but I'm sure I'll find out. Uh, we also have our fish tokens, wisdom, 
Oh yeah, we've got different, lots of different stands actually. So, oh, five player sets, each in a different colour. So there's, those will be the, those will be parts of those. Okay, that's fine. I understand now. Uh, oh, I guess those will be the dice screens for each player as well. No, they'll probably be in here somewhere. Yep. Okay, so we've got uh, lots and lots and lots of things that had to punch out anyway. So, cool. One board. It is a board game after all. It has a board. There's the board. That's very nice. Okay. So. Hmm. That's for the locations expansion module. I think. Judging by the picture, yeah, judging by the picture. So I'll just show you that up close. And there you go. Very nice. Next we have River Market. So that's on the deluxe edition. So there's the location and then there's 12 demand cards that go with that. So there's the River Market. We have the Labyrinth which is part of the deluxe edition. It reminds me of the babe. What babe? The babe with the power. Oh, we have a, a lovely insert to store things in. So we'll be sorting that out later. Look at that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, EB and X, whatever they are. Love that. And then, right, so these are our deluxe Monuments. So we have a little pagoda, uh, a building, a bridge. They're very detailed minis, uh, miniatures, I must say. And a ball. Look at that. Lovely. Then we have. What are these ones? Good question, Matthew. These are the resources. So these are, so we've got wood, stone, kaolin, kaolin, and bronze. Uh, so those are the kaolin ones. So we also have bronze. We have wood. And stone. Excellent. Wait, oh, lots of dice. Lots and lots and lots of lovely dice. Just normal D6s, but it's nice to have them. And lots of little tokens. Are they for any of the... Uh, da, 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 I'm not sure, but we've got lots of little tokens. And then we have our cards and our painting layers. Wow. Look at that. Let's just take one of these out. They go in there, I'd imagine, because they've got the numbers on. So you've got, oh, I see you've got your different, oh, that's amazing. Look at that. So you build these layers up as you go and you make an amazing scenic vista. That's incredible. Right, so what I'm going to do is, before I go any further, I'm going to pack all these up in there. Okay, so they're all in there, um, sorted out into their relevant sizes. So that's very nice, I like that a lot. Took me a few minutes to do. And uh, it's especially annoying when you find one that you've uh, got a lower level that you, after you've already built them up. But <laughs> hey ho, there you go. Right, what we got here, we've got extra bits and pieces. So we've got our cars, so we should have 42 advisors. So let's have a look at these. So I'm guessing those are our advisors. They all look very wise and ready to dispense lots of helpful advice, I'm sure. Uh, and then we have other cards, which I guess are for the expansions. So we have uh, da -da -da -da, the mass. Oh, this is solo mode. Okay. 
17 master cards and three personality cards. So there we go. There's those master cards. I, had to, I forgot what the other ones were. Availability. No, personality. Then we have some Kickstarter stuff. Compositions, part of the Kickstarter pack. 12 composition cards. Very pretty. Like them a lot. I mean, they've got a Kickstarter logo in the corner, so you know they're, which ones they are. But also, they have a nice, lovely painting on the back. Does it show you, actually, in the book what the backs of the cards are? It doesn't for these, but it does for the uh, advisors. So, at least you know they're those. So, I'm going to put these back in here for now until I need them. And these ones will be the locations for the Kickstarter pack. Uh, no, there's only five location tiles. So what we got here? Uh, good question. What have we got here? Let's have a look. Let's see how many of them there are. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Oh, they are, they're for the river market. They're, there's 12 demand cards. There they are. So that's cool. So again, I'll put those away until I play with that expansion. So I'm going to have to do a bit of work. I'm probably going to put all the expansions bits in their own little bags, uh, just so I don't uh, mix everything up. So yeah, there you go. That's a look at everything that's inside Eternal Palace. Actually, let's have a quick look at the, uh, the player boards as well dice screens rather and they've all got the different uh, different advisors on there we go and different colors on the back so there we go that's it Eternal palace uh, I'll put links to Alicat Games website and BGG and everything in the description there's a nice rules reference on the back of the rule book uh, but for now thanks everyone for watching this unboxing video and we'll see you next time <laughs>